I'm doing a DIY Disney ears and this one is a uh, Cinderella inspired Disney ears that I'm doing. So I hope you follow along. I hope you enjoy this DIY and I hope you learn how to do them yourself. And these are no sew by the way. All of mine are no sew. I really am terrible at sewing. All right, follow along. Okay, so I'm going to do, like I said, the uh, Cinderella ears. And I got a headband. This I actually got at Hobby Lobby for $1.99. Um, I normally buy my headbands at Walmart. I got this right here for the trim on the ears for um, $3.99. Um, this is my ear sewing line. I don't sew, so it's my cardboard line. And this is my ear cutting line. This one's only fabric. Um, I got these. I haven't decided if I'm going to put them on the ears, but I think I might. We'll see how well it goes. Um, I got these charms. I'm only going to use one, and it's going to be the centerpiece of the bow. And these were $4.99 for two charms. I got the lace for the ears, and this for, um, or the lace for the bow, and this for the ears. And then um, my glue, glue gun, and my glue gun is a mess very actually it's very embarrassing how messy it is and I've got one glue stick left which should be enough to do these ears and some felt for the liner on the headband because I think I'm gonna wrap the headband I haven't quite decided yet or not because um, the headband is like a cream color whereas the lace is white so I think it'll be okay without wrapping it but I haven't quite decided if I do then this will go on the inside kind of like this ribbon is right now um, you need a marker, a sharpie, some scissors. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in to let it warm up a little bit and we'll get started. Oh, and you also need polyfill, which I got at Walmart. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm using my cardboard here to make my ears. And this is just, it's not a Amazon box, but it is a box and normally I'm using Amazon boxes. So I just take the ear sewing line, which is my cardboard line, and I trace around the ear. Like that, and then I do it four more times because you need four pieces. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So I have them traced, and then I'm about to cut them out, and I have found that cutting along the most inner line works the best for your ears. Okay, so we've got one cut out. I'm gonna cut out the other three because you need four pieces. And then we'll go to the, on the fabric. So once they're all cut, you wanna line them up and make sure they're all even. And the good thing about cutting to, to the, most, the innermost side is um, your ears are mostly even. You don't really have to do a whole lot of recutting on them. The next thing you want to do is trace your ears, your fabric. I leave a little around each side. You leave some down here because that folds under. And on this one, once you're done tracing it and you go to cut it, you don't want to cut it on the innermost side. You want to give a little room if possible because um, you're going to be gluing these ends down and you want to make sure it's not too close to the um, edge of the cardboard. You kind of want to have some space. So I don't trace the bottom. It goes, it bled through. So I don't trace the bottom um, because you've got to get, you're going to have a gap there anyway. So the reason why I'm putting these so close together is because I'm thinking about using the other rest of this ribbon as a liner for my bow. Because the bow's lace, it's going to be hard to work with. So I thought a liner would be good. 
All right, once you're done, I just start cutting them out. All right, now that we're done with cutting those out, I'm going to glue them on. So you really just want to do a little bit at a time so that it doesn't dry out on you. So now that these are done, I'm going to see about putting this on there. I'm hoping that it can go on there just fine, but I don't really know. I haven't done these one of these things before on my ears. So this is a new experiment for me. Okay, now I'm going to stuff them. I think I'll let those hang out a minute before I stuff those. So when you're stuffing, you don't want to stuff too much because you'll bend your cardboard and you don't want your cardboard to bend, but you do want to make sure it gets all the way to the edge like that. So once you have it stuffed, and I actually did bend this one a little bit, you want to take the hot glue and glue down your edge. So now that all your ears are stuffed, you want to kind of pick out your matched up ears and match them up and then glue them together. All right, so to match them up or to glue them together, you want to get one of them, go around the edge. and then kind of zigzag in the center a little bit so it stays. Because these are fabric ears, um, well, I would say any Mickey Mouse ears, uh, they don't do well in rain, so I wouldn't wear them in the rain. But I wouldn't even wear my Disney branded ears in the rain, so. I mean, if you're one that keeps your ears on in the rain, I wouldn't wear these. The next piece, I'm using this to line it. I'm gonna kind of turn, like do it this way around it and I'm overlapping it so that it can go underneath a little bit like that. So I'll cut it right there and it'll go underneath both sides. And then I'll just cut the other one the same way. So the next thing you wanna do is you wanna go slowly so it yes, looks Daddy. best. Kinda of start around the edges like that. All right, so that's how you do those. There is some hot glue on there that I'm gonna just have to pull off when I'm done. But those are done. Now I gotta line them up with the ears. So now I'm gonna work on the bow and I think I want to line it. So in order to line it, I just cut this piece out because I'm thinking that the bow is gonna be about that size, like width wise. So like I said, I haven't done a lined one before, so I'm going to be guessing at this. But it is pretty much the exact same. I want that on the outside. And I want this on the inside. So the first thing I'm going to do is I want to fold it over to make it like fit gonna be like that 
because I've got a line, I've got the lace, I'm gonna have to do the same thing with the lace. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is pull it over just a little bit right here. The next thing I'm gonna do is meet in the middle. And I just wanna make sure it is the middle, so I may just move it around a little bit like that. And then um, that's how big your bow is gonna be. So if you think that's too big, so like, you can compare it to another pair of ears. If you think that's too big, then you just wanna fold it over some more. Like um, maybe do this, because I feel like that's a little too big anyway. So maybe I'll do it like that. And then you can kind of just gauge it by doing this. So like that. So I've decided where I want it. So now I'm going to glue it down. So once you have it like that, this is your back and you wanna fold it accordion style. All right, so it's folded accordion style and it's kinda of hard to keep it that way. So you wanna glue your pieces down. And then on the back, you wanna do the same thing. So the piece that I cut off, which was this right here, I'm actually going to use that right around the center. So to do that, I'm going to glue back here. So now that the bow's done, I'm going to put a little dab of glue right there and attach the crown. I've decided to not line the headband um, just because that's a lot of work. So what the next thing I'm going to do is line the ears up on the headband like that to determine how far apart I want them. And because my bow is bigger, I think I'm going to do it like that because then I'm going to put the bow right there. So yeah. And then... All right, the last step, the bow. Put some glue on the bottom of the bow right there and attach it to the center of your ears. So this is the end result. I feel like they're really pretty, but I feel like the bow's super big, but I'm okay with that, I think. What do you guys think? All right guys, that was it. Thank you so much for sticking out through the video. I hope you really enjoyed it. And uh, let me know if you like DIYs. I know my setup's not perfect, but uh, I'm working with what I have. I'm a small channel, so you don't really have all the equipment needed, fancy equipment needed to make the DIY look so shiny and bright as all the other big channels have but it's still a no sew DIY of Cinderella ears. These are actually for a really good friend of mine, Alicia, over at Cinder Alley Loves Disney. So be sure to check her channel out below. She's listed below underneath the, my partner channels. I have two, Cinder Alley Loves Disney and uh, Heather over at uh, the Disney Housewives. So go check them out and thanks so much for watching. Bye now.